everyone, welcome back to Learn to Play. My name is Julie and for those of you that are new here, welcome. Today I wanted to talk about my top 10 favorite items that I use in my home daycare as far as office supplies and crafting supplies go. I figured instead of going over my least favorite to my most favorite because in all honesty, they're all my favorites. I figured I would start off with the least expensive to the most expensive. Now my number one favorite office supply is not even actually a supply, it's TPT, Teachers Pay Teachers. It is a website you can find online. And the reason why I love this is because you can get so many free resources on here. Now, a lot of the things that I use in my home daycare did cost money. They were, you know, under like, usually I, I try to stick around like the $5 range if I am gonna pay for anything. But I would say 90% of the stuff that I have um, downloaded off of TPT has been free. One of the great things about TPT is that it breaks it down into different categories. You can do pre-K to kindergarten, and if you're doing home daycare, I would assume that's probably the age range that you're gonna be looking for. And also you can break it down you know, by price. You can do five and under, you can do free, you can break it down into reading, writing, mathematics, you know, all different kind of subjects that they have there, and that's really helpful. My second favorite thing that I wanted to show you guys is a simple binder. I love binders, you guys. I use these for everything. I use these in my personal life. If I'm going on trips, if I'm planning something, I am a binder girl. Now this binder right here is the one inch binder. You can get this for a dollar at Target, at Walmart, at the Dollar Tree. I like to stock up on these during back to school because they will go clearance and usually you can get them for about 75 cents. One of the ways that I love using binders is by theme. So I have a binder for seasons. I use binders to separate my monthly materials. You can even do it by category. I have like a farm and zoo binder. I have um, a mermaid and pirate binder. I just love these guys. And they are not, again, they're not that thick. They're easy to store on a shelf. And for a dollar, this is a great, great tool. The third thing I wanna show you is that I think everyone needs a three hole punch. Now I got this one off of Amazon for $8.99. I have had this for years, you guys. I love a three hole punch. It just makes life so much easier. This particular brand is the Pen and Gear brand. Like I said, I got it on Amazon for $8.99. The fourth thing I wanna show you are Velcro dots. I am obsessed with Velcro dots. There are so many <laughs> different things you can use these for. I love using these for file folder, I love using these for like matching. I use Velcro dots for everything. I got this particular brand off of Amazon. I'll leave all the links below. This is 1400 Velcro dots for 1079. Now I go through probably two or three boxes a year of these. I just simply love them. Like I said, I laminate everything. I put Velcro dots on everything. It just makes, when you have um, little pieces for something, if you just Velcro them together, instead of having the kids just simply like put a laminated piece on top of something, they will lose it. So I definitely am a big, big fan of Velcro dots. The next thing I wanna talk about is cardstock. I am obsessed with cardstock. Now this particular one I got from Walmart for, I wanna say for like $6.99, it has 150 sheets. Sometimes I do purchase it off of Amazon. They have a 300 sheet for I think $12.79, because a lot of times my um, local Walmart does not have cardstock, but I use this just like the Velcro dots religiously. I love printing stuff out on a sturdier paper and then laminating it. I feel like it lasts so much longer. I go through probably one of these a month, if not more, especially 150 sheets. I probably go through 300 sheets a month, to be honest. So I definitely love, love, love cardstock. Now the next two items go hand in hand. The first thing I wanna show you is my Amazon laminator. This is the nine inch one. This currently is on Amazon for $24.24. You guys, I love this thing. I have two of these in fact, because I laminate so much stuff. I have had this laminator probably for three years, if not longer. I absolutely love it. And I had to get a second one, just like I said, because I laminate so much stuff. The Amazon basic one is my favorite. I wanna say I've had one other, like this is my second one that I've had in under four years. So they do last a really, really long time. And then I always buy my laminating sheets on Amazon as well. This is a 200 count for $16. This is the best deal that I have found for laminating sheets. Like I said, the cardstock, the laminator, the laminating sheets, the Velcro dots, 
I use these every single day, you guys. I'm either laminating something, printing something out. I just, I love to laminate everything because I want the stuff to last. And that was the reason behind using the cardstock as well. So the laminating sheets and the laminator are both from Amazon. The next thing I wanna show you are these clear pouches. Now this is a 48 piece off of Amazon. I wanna say for under $17. I love these pouches because they have like a little case right here. It's almost like a business card size that you can put what is in here. They simply zip, they're nine by 13. And like I said, it's a 48 count for $16. These are great for like individual children. You can put their work in here. You can, I use these, like I sort um, different games in here. I put puzzle pieces in here. I put flashcards in here. I do a lot of different stuff. I do a lot of different themed stuff in here as well so that, that I can find it easily accessible inside my file cabinet. And I really like it. Next thing I wanted to show you is my X-Acto paper cutter. Now you guys, I literally don't know what I would do without this. This is a 12 by 15 inch. It's $89.99 on Amazon. I am obsessed with this. This is a new one that I bought for my center. I've had the one that I've been using in my home daycare for four years. I It needs to probably retire because the blade is getting dull. I don't know how you could like sharpen the blade. I'm sure there's probably a way, but you guys, I am obsessed with the paper cutter. It just makes life so much easier than having to use scissors. This is definitely a more pricier investment, but I highly, highly, highly recommend the paper slicer. Then the final two things I want to talk about are my printer. I'll insert a picture here of the printer that I have. It is the HP 3830. I purchased this from Walmart. It was $299 and I've had this printer for the last three years. It prints black and white, color, it scans, it copies. I love it, you guys. This is my favorite printer that I've had. And with the HP printers, you have the option of doing HP Insta Ink. Now, if you do not know of this, have not heard of this, you are missing out. Now the printer is pricey, you know, $2.99. That is a little bit pricier just for like a home daycare, but it makes it worth it because you can enroll in the HP Insta Ink promotion. Now they have different plans right now. I think I'm on the most expensive plan. It's like $24 a month and I can print out 700 um, colored copies or black and white, whatever you prefer. Now you definitely don't have to spend $24 a month. They're cheapest plan is 99 cents and you can print out 15 pages. Now, obviously you're gonna to wanna to print out more than that. I think they have a plan for like 11.99 that is 300 pages. Right now I am at the max um, amount because I'm doing a lot of printing, especially I'm getting things ready for the center. And so that's why I bumped up the plan. Like I said, it's 24, I think 24.99 for 700 pages. What you don't use rolls over, which is the beautiful thing. So when your ink is getting low, it automatically sends them a signal and they will send you new ink. Now I probably get two or three <laughs> shipments a week in the ink, so I'm never out of it. I have a stockpile of it. You cannot use this on another printer, it won't work. And if you cancel the plan, the ink won't work either. So I'm not sure how they know that, but <laughs> it definitely, it won't work. Just like a heads up with that. But I have like 2000 rollover sheets because I've been at the top plan for now, for probably like the last five months and I haven't been using 700 sheets um, a month. So it does roll over, which is a great thing about that. Now, if you do downsize your plan, I don't think you can keep all those rollovers. But you guys, it is so worth it because if you were to purchase just one of these inks, I think it's like $30 just for one. So definitely, you know, even at $24 a month, you're getting unlimited ink and you're printing, you know, 700 sheets. So I think that's a great plan. So that is it, you guys. That is my 10 most favorite items that I use here at my home daycare that I will be using at the center that I use in my everyday life. So as you can see, a lot of the things are very affordable. And with it being office supplies, the beautiful thing about it as well is that it can be used as a tax write-off. Just remember to keep your receipts. And I mean, some of the things, you know, are very affordable, especially TPT. It's such a great resource that you can find so many great free things. You know, the laminator, you shouldn't have to go through more than one every couple of years. Same as the printer, same as the hole punch. So even though it may be an initial investment, they do last, and especially, you know, the things that I've been buying off of Amazon are pretty quality stuff. So I'm very happy with that. So I don't have any complaints. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope I was able to give you some tips and tricks on some office supplies. 
If you're not a subscriber, please consider doing so. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video.